Welcome to Liesl's Artistic Studio. Every once in a while, I enjoy doing a bonus video in addition to my weekly Thursday tutorials. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to draw and paint this fish using watercolor brush pens. So let's get started and don't forget to like and subscribe. So just recently, I was contacted by the Hippie Crafter Art Product Company, and they asked if I could try out and give an honest review of some of their products. Now, some I liked better than others, but my favorite thing I tried was these watercolor brush pens. I have some other tutorials with brush pens if you're interested in checking those out, but I found these to be as good and maybe even better quality than the other brands I've tried in the past. This particular set comes with 25 colors plus one water brush. I noticed they also sell a set of 50, which I might even buy myself sometime. The colors are nice and vibrant. They have nice points with flexible tips. The one thing I wish that they would add is the name color onto the side of the pen. When I got working on this project, some of the colors looked pretty similar from the outside and it was easy to get them mixed up. I'm just gonna pull a few of these colors to show you how they work really quick, plus a big discovery I made when I started using them. Now Hippie Crafter also sent me some watercolor paper and some art tape to try out also. The paper worked okay for painting with watercolors, though it did tend to warp more than other papers I've used. But then when I first tried these brush pens on the Hippie Crafter paper, I could not get the color to activate and spread the way watercolor brush pens should. At first I thought it was the pens that were the problem, but then I tried the pens out on a different brand of paper and they worked just great. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's the water pen that came with the set. You can just fill it up with water and then you squeeze the sides to get the water out to the bristles. Then here's some samples of color. They're very vibrant and very pretty. Uh, but then when I add the water to the color on this Hippie Crafter paper, it barely spreads the color at all. It kind of just stains and absorbs into the paper. I'll even keep adding more water to it, but it's just not spreading the way I want. Now I'll try those same pens on some Canson paper and you'll see how they should act. The blue is a little bit harder to see because it's lighter, but as soon as I get water onto the paint, it activates and spreads very, very well. So I guess my point is, if you are having trouble getting your watercolor brush pen paint to activate and spread, trying some different paper may make the difference. You'll see here that I can keep adding water and trying to work that paint, but the initial marks are still visibly there. Where over here to the right, those first drawing marks will disappear altogether. Okay, enough talk. Let's get to painting this fun fish. First, I'll use this Hippie Crafter art tape to tape my paper down to keep it from moving around. The tape doesn't seem to be too sticky, so I don't think it's going to rip or peel my paper when I take it off. My Canson paper is cut to the size of 8x10, and the colors I have are yellow, two different oranges, a red, a black, and later on I do end up throwing in a bit of brown. I have a pencil to do a quick sketch of my fish. I will be activating and spreading the paint with a number 6 round brush because I personally feel I can control the water supply better with this than with the water pen. Then I have a glass of water and a paper towel. I'll start drawing the fish with the head, making a little bump on each side to separate the head from the body. I'm going to make the body curved to the right, then I'll start forming the tail with some curved and uneven lines. I want the tail of my fish to be very whimsical and flowy, so I'm just filling the majority of my paper with the tail. I'm also not focusing on a lot of detail. This is really just a guide for the pens later. Now I'll draw the top fin in a very similar way as I did the tail. But although I want it to be similar in look, I am trying to also make it look separated from the tail. Next, I'll draw a few curvy lines off to either side of the body of the fish for the side fins. Mm -hmm. 
Then of course, don't forget the eyes. After your drawing is done, take the yellow watercolor brush pen and apply that to the center or top area of the fish's body and head. Then use a light orange and make some marks surrounding the yellow area. Then using the red, add just a touch of color around the orange on the head and slightly up the body. Then finish off the edges using a darker orange. Now it's time to blend and smooth out those rough colors. So take your brush or your water brush and start activating the paint. I like to work activating the colors from light to dark so that the dark colors don't contaminate or muddy up the lighter ones. Then just keep working the wet brush and the wet paint until your colors have all blended together. Now this can take some practice to blend the colors smoothly. So don't be frustrated if you don't get it the first try. Now let's use a similar method on the side fins, drawing on color areas with the brush pens light to dark, then using the water to blend the paint together. Keep in mind the light colors like the yellow should be applied where you're wanting more of a highlight, and the dark colors like red will be mostly where there should be shadow areas. Might even thin out the color on some of the ends of the fins and tails with water to soften them and make them even more flowy. You'll notice that in some areas I'm still leaving streaks or lines of color to give the fins and later on the tail the look of veins or folds. The lines are just softened just a little bit with water so they're more natural and not so defined and harsh. Now let's finish off the main body of the fish by adding black to the eyes. I am drawing a nice circle of color, then I will activate the paint and fill in the rest of the eye, trying to leave it slightly lighter in value in the center. Now all that's left is to color and paint the top fin and the tail using the same method as before. And as a side note, I am going to try to make the top fin lighter in color and value than the tail to help differentiate them a little bit. So the top fin will have more yellow and light orange than red, and the tail will have more dark orange and red than yellow. Also, if you need to, feel free to erase any lines you can still see at the ends of the fins and or the tail.
And here is your fun and beautiful watercolor brush pen fish. Now all that's left to do is take the tape off and this painting is complete. The Hippie Crafter Artist Tape does seem to be peeling off very nicely. And in conclusion, these Hippie Crafter watercolor brush pens are very nice and super fun to use. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you had some fun and maybe even learned something new. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider subscribing to my channel so I can continue to help you discover your artistic side.